Hello there. So I'm back again. Um, this time, again, it's more of a, a short tip advice thing rather than a, a discussion topic. Um, but I wanted to briefly cover some uh, elements of like sort of power, power in, in striking and movement, <clears throat> as well as like uh, quick advice for how you kind of build up more power in your, in your body through training. So <clears throat> uh, there's lots of elements of how uh, power works and, and like striking and other sort of movements but um, I want to cover some some really sort of core staple out thing so the way a lot of um, power is generated in your body is through like around your center of gravity area around here and more through your lower body um, so even with upper body like punches a lot of your power really just comes from the bottom half of your body not the upper half um, uh, so a lot, a lot around like where your centre of gravity is, um, you have to have a strong sense of balance and strong connection to the floor as well. If you ever lose your balance, if you imagine trying to punch someone while you're falling backwards, uh, you, there's no power there because you have to have that strong connection with the floor. Because yes, the floor is where you push off the thing, so I push off that way, it moves me that way. You come on opposite reaction. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so you need strong connection with the floor. You need to understand that your core area, like around here, your hips, core, lower body, the legs, that's where your power really comes from. These muscles are much bigger and stronger than uh, other muscles in your body. So, I don't know, like a, like a cross. If I stand completely still like this and try to cross, compared to if I have my legs here so I can push off the ground and I can twist here with my claw. It's, you know, there's loads more power there. Like if you just try it yourself, you can tell. So, or like any sort of kick, any sort of twisting movement, you're building torque, comes from here. This is where torque is generated in your body, that twist. So if you can have a snappy, powerful twist, you can uh, do a lot of uh, powerful striking techniques. As for how, how you train to get more power, uh, primarily when, when you're doing whatever training you're doing, the best way is to do um, sort of high weight resistance, so fairly heavy sort of weights. Uh, best exercises are like compound lift movements, so any sort of heavy exercise that uses a lot of muscles like deadlifting, squats, bench press, things like that. Um, and you want to try and do the movement quite quickly, explosively, quite fast. Even uh, body weight movements can be, you know, you can do explosive variations like jump squats. With that, without any weight, you can just do squats, or you can do these 180s, where you're being explosive, things like burpees, or all those like uh, flat push-ups. That's an example of an explosive exercise, but best ones, so fairly heavy, say if I'm doing like a deadlift, fairly heavy, not, ha not so heavy that I can only lift it like that, you want to have a sharp, explosive movement, and in order to maintain a uh, good sort of time under tension, you want to slowly lower it down. So you slowly lower your weight and powerfully contract. That's the best way to sort of train your muscles in your body to be more explosive and powerful. And you want to focus on sort of like glutes and core for that powerful torque generation as well. So that's just some. Uh, quick advice on the subject of power and uh, I'll see you in the next video.